We also have a reading uh, from the city's poet laureate, uh, Laura McDermott Mather. If you can come up, I know she uh, has a poem she prepared for today. Five years ago, um, I had a different vantage point uh, during the tragedy. I watched it unfold from my good friend Dara Haas's Facebook page during the event and the days after. So the poem I wrote is um, in her voice, uh, based on some of the things that she had posted during the tragedy from her classroom. Half February, Mrs. Haas, classroom 1216, ninth grade language arts. St. Valentine's, St. Valentine's Day, clouds lumbered across my sky, culled and dispersed. Behind me, like clear weather, the window gave out, a dab of red, a dab of gray, white apertures. Huddled under a desk with students, I concentrated on something close, something small. I breathed the breath of eagles, their spirit one with blessings. I rose and fell in time with the slow river of the Everglades as it flowed west of my classroom. It's sawgrass, the oldest known plant, a three-dimensional V-shaped stalk with upward pointing teeth, to Seminoles and Miccosukees, survival food when food was scarce. How could we have known that grace was not scarce and would eventually fall upon us? atrocities in 16 minutes tucked beneath a desk. Three deceased in my classroom begin to sing within my meditation. The landscape, like God, a circle whose center is everywhere, whose circumference cannot be defined. I recall an organ chord, a soft hymnal during midday cries, the smell of cordite, acrid and sour. Apollo astronauts once described the moon's aroma like gunpowder. In the stillness of my classroom, the small space that pulls me inside, I am out of orbit, childless by three. I want to pour myself into the veins of the invisible, crystalline, sleep-shaped and sharp. Memory is all mixed up with metaphors. You can't see the same thing twice. You can't unsee what you just saw. A student said he's not sure if the splatter on him was his or his friends. My classroom, now a cemetery, three cypress trees sprouting in the middle of this grassy water prairie. 16 minutes chiseled into limestone, the mythic history of Western civilization pinprick through the zodiac. And these three children rise in the wind with the other 14 eagles gliding over Everglades. And like these blades of grass, we survivors have to stand sharp through drought and storm. Nothing to dull our teeth, no one to silence our songs. Thank you.